Oh, it looks like I did forget one of these. Oh, I need my pipe wrench. Okay, let's see here. Where's my pipe wrench at? Hmm. Pipe wrench, pipe wrench. I don't see it. Hmm, is it in here? Pipe wrench. Pipe wrench? Well, maybe I deleted it. That's okay, I'll just make another one. I need some flint. Uh, flint. Flint. Sticks. Where are my flint and sticks? Buddy, have you seen my... Buddy! What's up, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 8. Today, I am sick of having to look through all of these chests just for me to be able to find things. So today, we're gonna get set up with refined storage. It's a little dark in here. Why is it so dark? What is going on? Anyway, guys, make sure if you like this video, you hit that like button. And if you wanna continue watching this series and get updates whenever I post a new video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification and all that good jazz and all the other stuff that everybody always ends up saying and hopefully you make it. We broke 2,000 subscribers! I just put it out there. 2,000 people said yes. I like this guy. Thank you guys so much for the two thousand subscribers that's so huge that's huge i can't even begin to describe all the things that i got planned for me and body right body body doesn't care makes sense because he's a moose let's do this all right body no more stealing my stuff okay that wasn't cool so if we want to get started with refined storage it's actually very simple and you know usually what ends up happening is we have like a bunch of crafting to being done within the episode and uh, i don't know exactly what you guys like do you guys like it whenever i show like crafting recipes and stuff or do you prefer it for me to just be like, oh, hey guys, you know, here's the setup. This is how you set it up. And then y'all look up the recipes yourself. You know, I would love to know. Oh, if you're wondering about that, don't worry about it. But yeah, I'd love to know what you guys uh, think about, you know, doing certain crafting recipes and stuff like that. So let's get started with this. All right, to start with refined storage, we're gonna need to make a controller and we're going to need, I like making the crafting grid first. That's one of my favorite things. We're gonna need a disk drive. We're gonna go ahead and grab the recipe for a storage housing. That one's nice to have too. We're gonna need the recipe for the storage parts. So one, four and 16 we'll start with 16 and because i know i'm gonna need this i'm gonna go ahead and grab the recipe for the wireless crafting grid as well which means we're going to need a wireless transmitter and just because i know we're gonna need a lot of this stuff let's go ahead and grab the recipes for these right here just to take a look at them these are all the advanced processors refined storage uses a lot of bunch it's a bunch of different things i'm gonna be honest with you they use a ton of different things so one of the main things is quartz. Quartz is nice to have. It's going to take a ton of iron because you're going to make a bunch of different kinds of iron. You're going to be ended up making some quartz enriched iron. Gold doesn't hurt to have, but it looks like we're running kind of low over here, probably because I haven't smelted any. Diamonds you are going to need. And I'm going to go ahead and get out a couple of the other things just in case I need them to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stick some nether quartz in here to get this starting to smelt down. This will go ahead and smelt us down into some silicon. Now I know it looks like it's silicon from Applied Energistics too, but it works for both. Fun fact, you can actually smelt down both Cirrus Quartz Dust from A2, or you can smelt down just Nether Quartz, whichever one you want. I think Cirrus Quartz has actually changed in All the Mods 8, where All the Mods 8, you actually have to get it from crystals, if I'm correct, and the crystals, like the budding crystals and stuff like that, only spawn within the meteorites. I could be wrong, but that's just, I think that's what, what it is now. And with a couple of smelted, we're going to go ahead and get started by making us some processor bindings. It's going to take some string and some slime balls. And one of the big reasons why I made that farm over there with the slime and the spiders and all that was so I can make some of these processor bindings. I knew we'd need them. And this is the recipe for the controller. The controller just needs some silicon. It's going to need some machine casings. It's going to need four quartz enriched iron, and it's going to need an advanced processor. So let's go ahead and make this. I'm going to need some more materials, and this is why I want to do this, because we'll even set this up to where we can see it in our system. Because while I may not have a lot of resources over there, I've got a ton over here from this farm. We got 110,000 Inferium already. We might not even need to make certain things. Good God. Oh man, I am so excited for that over there. Just don't you worry. One of these days, you'll see it all. Quartz enriched iron is pretty simple. It's just some quartz with some iron. Very simple. Machine casing. This is just quartz enriched iron surrounding a piece of stone. And now for the advanced processor, which is just smelting this right here, which we have plenty of. So I'm just going to go ahead and make about 16. And it doesn't hurt for me to go ahead and make about 16 of each of these. Just doing this in advance because I know I'm going to need them along the road. And now with all of this stuff, we should be able to make the controller. 
Sweet. And it powered up in my inventory. Oh my God, what do you want? Tome of allows entities and certain blocks to be hidden from view. Uh-huh. Bumblebee spawn egg. Yeah, that looks cool. Green enchanted sapling. You stay right here. Don't go anywhere. Hey, let me just get you some emeralds. Stupid wandering trader. Okay, let me get some of your saplings. I don't, I'm going to get, what is, what is, what are we? Okay, I'm going to get a couple of those. Let me get uh, this book. I don't know what it is, but I'll take it. Let me get a bumblebee spawn egg, bumblebee tuna. We're going to grab two of them. All right, thank you for your, your service. I, uh, we're just going to store this over here and uh, act like nothing happened. It's probably safe to say that we put our controller somewhere over here connected to our system. Wouldn't that be smart? Stick it right up here. That works. As long as this energy right here, this energy config is set to up. That way we can keep it powered. That's good. We can't do anything with just a controller. That doesn't do us any good. We're going to have to make a couple of more things. So we're going to make a crafting grid, which is going to take a grid, some more of these processors, and we have everything. And now we should be able to make one of these grids. I actually want to make two of these grids because I know I'm going to need a couple of them. And now we're going to work our way to the crafting grid right here. Crafting table, processors, grid. Two crafting grids. Sweet. We can use one of these to place this down over here with our controller. And the way refined storage works is very simple. All you gotta do is just make sure that whatever you're placing here connects to your controller. So your controller is the main part of your system and then your crafting grid just pretty much allows you to look into your system and see what's in there. Now we don't have anything in here yet, so we gotta make us some storage space, which we could easily do by making us a disk drive. Disk drives are simple enough, just everything that we've made already and a smart chest or well, Pretty much any chest at the top and this drive. Same thing, I'm just gonna place this right here and now it should be connected to the system because it's attached right here. So now the disk drive, all it does is just store disks. That's it. And you determine the size of the disks. Now the disks are what holds your items. And essentially each one of these are very simple. 1K storage part holds 1000 items, 4K holds 4000, 16K holds 16,000 and so on and so forth. There's some pretty large disks and one of them you actually need to make for the all the mod star but we'll get in that later so let's go ahead and get this wireless crafting grid out of the way we're gonna need an ender pearl to be able to make it so i'm just gonna grab one and then that should be able to let me make this i'm gonna put it in my hot box so that way it powers up which is good but we can't use this and we can't use this until we have something called a wireless transmitter which again we just need one single piece of ender pearl cool the wireless transmitter when we attach it we come over here we attach it to our system i'm gonna put it right here on top of my controller. This allows us to connect our wireless crafting grid. So if we right click here or see how it says, if we right click in the air, it says not a network not found. You could shift right click here. And then now you are connected to your storage system, which is pretty cool. If I right click anywhere, as long as I'm right near this, it'll let me look into my system. Problem is, is this thing only allows you to go 16 blocks before it doesn't let you see it anymore. If we fly away about 16 blocks over here beside our new friends, nothing happens. A cool trick that you can do is you can actually set this since this is considered a curio. You come over here and just pretty much find any slot. There's a grid slot for this too. You just put this in here. And then now if you have a shortcut, which I do, which is control G for me, you can actually just hit that instead of having it take up your inventory space, which is incredibly nice. Okay, let's continue on making our stuff. To increase our range here, we're gonna need something called a range upgrade, which means we're gonna need the upgrade here, and then we're gonna need the range upgrade. The range upgrade is actually very easy to make. All you need is some improved processors to make the normal upgrades, and then just some ender pearls with those upgrades, and there you go some quartz enriched iron, simple enough. I grab out some ender pearls. So we're gonna go ahead and make four of these upgrades here. And then we're gonna go ahead and make four of these range upgrades. Come over here and we stick this inside of here. Now we can do 48 blocks, kind of nice. There is one more upgrade that you can do for this. And you're gonna need some netherite, some enderium and unobtainium. And this makes it where you can get anywhere within the dimension your controller is in, like anywhere, infinite range. So that way you can use it anywhere in the overworld, which is where we're at. But there's also an upgrade for this too, which allows you to do it across dimensions. You're gonna need four of those infinity range boosters and some nether stars and an eye of ender. Pretty cheap actually, you know, that's only four pieces of unobtainium, some in netherite, enderium. Pretty, pretty simple. We'll do that later on down the road. For now, we're gonna need to get some more storage. We gotta make some storage first. So the way refined storage works, A2 works, all this stuff works, is basically you've gotta make the first component and then you gotta work your way up. So it takes the 1K, it takes three of these to make a 4K. Then it takes three 4Ks to make a 16K. 
then three 16Ks to make a 64K, and so on and so forth. It just keeps going. But let's see how many we can make. So if I want to make a 16K, that means I'm going to need nine of these storage parts here, which means I'm out of glass. All right, so now we have nine storage parts here for the 1K. We're going to upgrade this to the 4K here. Problem is we didn't have enough because we need more basic processors. Let's go ahead and make these and go smelt them down. Now we just need to make one more 4K storage part and bam, we should be able to make the 16K storage part, which is pretty nice. What we're going to have to do now is we're either going to have to make a storage block, which I don't suggest on doing just because it looks ugly, or we're going to make a storage drive, which is why we had the storage housing recipe. All this is, is you put these together and there we go. We get a 16K storage disc. Come over here fly around because our jetpack is fast and put this in here and now we should have storage. We should be able to just spam everything in here. I'm gonna be careful not to put my dank in there because a dank is another NBT item with extra stuff in it. Not gonna do that. It's gonna shove everything in here and now we do the fun part where we shove everything in from our storages. Body, we have a ton of items and no taking them this time. I know a moose can't use technology, I've seen it. Well, now's the fun part taking all of this and putting it over there. Pro tip, if you left click and pick something up, you can hold shift and double click and it will put all of the same kind of item up. So all of these, all the modium, all of this, all of that, it's just a double click, but you do have to pick something up and then shift click. Something I do wanna note is I do have storage places for certain items in here, like glowstone, stuff like that, glass bottles, all this stuff that drops from my mob farm, I actually wanna put in a separate place. So I'm gonna grab all the stuff out here that I have in a different spot, and I'm gonna go put it into my storage system. And I'll show you why a little bit later. Just double right click here, and it should empty up everything that I have in these drawers. But everything else can go into my system. Well, anything that isn't a mob drop, rather. And anything that I don't wanna go in my system, like machines, stuff like that, I'm just gonna put over here, because maybe I'll need them later on. Again, I do wanna be careful about MBT items, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these up. Now, this one might not be an MBT item, but it's glowy, so I'm just gonna throw it in here. Spawners, I think, are the same. They don't, I don't think they have MBT items if they're broken spawners, but it is what it is. I'm just throwing it over there. And now these are all the items. When I say mob drops, what I mean is that anything that I already have a storage drawer for over there in my mob farm, anything that I have over there, I'm just not gonna put it in my system just because I already have a place for it. And we're actually gonna make a way to connect that to our system. And now we go over here and put the rest of it back in here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so what if we want to see all of this stuff in our system from over here? What if we want all of these things over here to be seen by our system, but not put into our storage disks so that they would fill up? Because if you look at this, we made 16,000. We could even fit all of these molten cores in there, right? So there is a way for us to make something called an external storage. It basically says you set it up and you point it towards whatever you want it to look at and it will read whatever is inside of that and let you pull it out of your system. So like if I'm over here and I wanna be able to pull the stuff that's in this, all I gotta do is set up an external storage here. And because all this stuff is in my system, I can now actually make these things without us having to go over there to my system to, to make it. So we're gonna need some cables here and then we're gonna make ourselves one of these external storages. Now, if we want this to be wireless, we're gonna have to make something called a network receiver and a network transmitter. And these are actually kind of expensive because you're gonna need a netherite ingot for each one of these. And if I remember correctly, I only have one netherite ingot left. Let's just go ahead and try and make it. We're gonna need two of these. And let's see, there is the receiver. And just like I thought, we're missing a couple of these pieces and some ender pearls. Well, which we have it. So we're gonna need one more netherite ingot. Let's go grab one more netherite ingot. Excuse you! I see netherite. Oh God! God, we need to upgrade our sword. All right, let's run the seven back home and see what it does for us. We've got to use our crusher from this, which is back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the items and we're going to make sure we turn this off so it doesn't get any more items out of here. And then I'm going to put in the ancient debris here. I believe we need the enrichment chamber to do this too, which I've set over here. Yes. Oh, I can't wait for us to build an actual house that looks good. And there we go. We should have enough to make some netherite. Sweet. And now we just need to make that network transmitter, which we have some ender pearls over here that I need to get. Now we should be able to make that network transmitter. And we're going to need one last thing. And that is a network card, which we're going to need some paper for, which by the way, you could actually use sawdust to make you some paper. Makes it easy. And there we go. So how would we set this up? Well, it's actually quite easy. I'm gonna go ahead and break this right here. 
I'm going to break this light right here. And then I'm going to take and put this network receiver down. The network receiver basically says, I'm going to take any signal from our main storage system and connect it to whatever we have over here. So if we did want to put over here a crafting grid or something, we could actually do that and it would connect to our main system, which is all the way over there. It's pretty cool. It's just wireless stuff. So now you just right click the receiver right here with a card and that will give it the linked coordinates for this specific receiver, which is cool. We're gonna go ahead and take this external storage and I'm gonna put this here. So one of the things that I wanna do here is I wanna make sure I go in here and I wanna set this as a priority. So I'm gonna click and set this to one. And basically what this does is it says, okay, if I put anything in my storage here, it's automatically gonna say, if I have priority set here, anything that I put in my storage will automatically try to go here first. And obviously if there's no empty spaces for it, it will just go back to our storage disk. But what this does when it's connected is that if I have redstone or if I get iron or emeralds or whatever, it'll just go over here and use this storage system instead of taking up space on our disk. And yes, theoretically with that, we can make a wall of storage and just put each of the items that we get a ton of into them and that will connect the storage to it, which is pretty cool. So the final step to setting this up, good job, buddy. So the final step to se setting this up is by taking our network transmitter, sticking it in our system here, and then just putting in our network card. And now if we open our storage, we have all of the items that are over there in here, which is pretty cool. So now we can pretty much use all of that stuff over there to for any of our crafts. And we also get to see just how many of each we have. We have 262,000 slime balls. We got a ton of stuff. I'm telling you those mob farms are insane. And again, if I put this in here, it should go over to that system instead of going to my disc. Where did I get the tropical fish? Are they still dying over here? Is that bee trying to kill them? Carlton! And while this is cool and all, I don't think we have enough materials. Certain materials, that is. Now, granted, we have things for raw gold and a couple other different ways to get raw stuff, but we don't actually have a way to get all of the modded metals like nickel, osmium, copper, all that stuff. We even know copper is not modded. We don't have the materials to make all of those. We don't, we don't have a way to get all of those. So we're going to. And how are we going to do that? Well, I hinted it last episode. We're going to make something called the chunk destroyer. This thing is actually amazing, but it takes a lot of different materials for us to make this. Now we have pretty much all of this stuff. We have all of this and then we have to craft these right here, these three, and we got the dragon head. We're going to have to go and kill a couple of withers, but that's okay too. To make this, we're going to have to make something called the workbench plus, which does actually take some all the modium nuggets to make. So using our system, let's see if we can make this. I think we're missing the blocks. I think we can make this. And there we go. The workbench plus. All you gotta do, stick this where there's power. So right here, and then it will get power whenever it needs to make the recipe. So for the chunk destroyer, we're gonna need these three items here. We're gonna need a quarry plus, well, three of them. We're gonna need two pump pluses or a quarry pump module, whichever one, and some markers. Now, if you look, you're probably gonna wanna make something different like the marker plus here or the flexible marker because the rest of them don't really have recipes. And this is fairly simple. Some lapis, some redstone torches, all this stuff. We can go ahead and make this. And the cool thing about the Workbench Plus is that it holds infinite stacks of every item that you put in this. I don't suggest on challenging that, but essentially you can put things in here and it just stacks up because it does require it to make things. So once you put everything in here that it needs to make something, it'll show you the recipes at the bottom that you can make. You click it and it will make it for you if it has the power. And I need three of these flexible markers. So looking at the Quarry Plus, we need diamonds, gold, iron, redstone dust and ender pearls, all easy to make. And once everything's in there, again, we're gonna need three of these. So there's one, there's two, and now I need some more materials. Looks like we're out of iron. And there's three. So now we need two of these pump pluses, which I wonder if the pump module is easy to make. Oh, doesn't matter, just a pump plus. So we're gonna need a ton of glass, redstone, and we're gonna need some cactus. And we've gotta make two of these. So if we go and we look at that pump plus, it's gonna take 512 glass to make one of them and we're gonna need two so we're gonna need a thousand and twenty four glass quick maths and we're also gonna need 160 cactus that is a lot of cactus we don't even have that much glass like oh we're gonna need to go get some more sand i don't even think we have sand oh gonna need to go get some more sand well body you want to go with me get some more sand i guess we put these up in our inventory right now let's go get some sand and some cactus wait did we get cake i could have sworn we got some cactus we got nine cactus right here body that's not enough cactus we can grow these in botany pots though so let's add one more here oh we're gonna make sure we got to make sure to cut that one off i'm just gonna 
Body! Boop. Sand. Cactus. Man, that's gonna grow slow. All right, buddy, let's go find some more cactus. Ooh, loot! Is there loot here? Did I come already? Oh, yeah, this is the one that ain't got nothing in it. Well, hey, body. Did we loot? I feel like I looted this. I feel like I've been here before. It's been a minute. I'm just here for some cactus. I'm pretty sure we've been here. Is that a snake? That's a snake. It's a rattlesnake. Aren't rattlesnakes dangerous? Oh! I am not messing with that. What is that? That must be another village. A little busy getting me some cactus or I would be over there. Maybe they got cactus over here, actually. Hold on, let's see. What y'all got over here? There's some melons. Oh, this is a nice place. These people know how to build. Oh! God, buddy, you can't be scaring me like that. Jesus Christ. How do y'all have no cactus growing here? Like, nobody has cactus here? Oh, there's cactus in these chests. Buddy, what is this? so much easier. Let's see if they got any more cactus in the chest. Is there something going on here that I don't know about? Why is there so many people here? Just raiding a village for some cactus. This place sucked. All right, this is the fastest way to get cactus. Just go find a desert village. How nice is that? Look at that. The whole village went to go beat whatever person was out there. They just all decided to go fight all at the same time. That's hilarious. Man, I really want, don't want to do this in the dark. So let me show you guys something cool. Come over here. Take their wool. Make yourself a sleeping bag. And you can sleep in this without it resetting your sleeping place or your bed. And it'll make it daytime, which is nice. Ah! Now it's time to get more cactus. We need 160 cactus, right? So two stacks is 128. That makes 130. Now we have 134. So we need 26 more pieces of cactus. So a total of 32. So two and a half stacks. Let's get that. You know, we probably already have all that at the house. So let's just, uh, let's go get some more sand. Do, 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 do. Just doing some landscaping. I'm sure that the uh, village behind me would not mind. You know, just kind of sprucing up the place. Probably worth mentioning, I did upgrade my dank. Just so you guys know, it's probably the episode that I was lot like lost the recordings and stuff, but I upgraded to an emerald backpack, very simple. And I upgraded my dank to an emerald dank. So just so you guys know, just to put this out here, uh, this is why I did the mob farm because it does give you emeralds, it gives you diamonds, it gives you everything basically that you would need to upgrade your stuff. So very, very simple stuff. I mean, we got emeralds, we went diamond, and then below that is uh, gold. And then as you see, we got all of that from the mob farm. So it's worth noting that you can upgrade like that. Very worth it. 4.1 thousand sand, I'll take it. Buddy, you ready to go back? Get out of the sand, buddy. All right, let's see, do we have enough cactus? No, that's okay, I guess. We're all gonna need a dragon head for one of these recipes. I'm gonna stick that in there. We're gonna need to smelt this glass down, or sand rather. Jesus Christ, that filled my inventory. So double click, bam, all of it's in there. This gold furnace just isn't cutting it, so we gotta upgrade it. So we got gold to diamond, and then let's go diamond two, and let's get the diamond to emerald, emerald two. We have emerald to obsidian, and I think that's as high as we can go. Pretty sure the next upgrade is obsidian to netherite, which takes some netherite. In the meantime, we'll just upgrade this like this. So, gold to diamond, just take some glass, boop, bam. Diamond to emerald, boop, bam. And emerald to obsidian, easy enough. All I'm gonna do is take my torch out of my hand, shift click, and that will upgrade this, which is good. Then shift click, and one more time, shift click. Now we have an obsidian furnace, which is a ton faster. Cool. Okay, we have enough stuff to make one pump plus. We're gonna need more glass and we're gonna need some more cactus. Now, while this cactus is growing and while we have, oh God, I'm fast. While this cactus is growing and while this sand is smelting into glass, which I guess I'll just go ahead and grab a stick up in here. I am going to show you guys what we're gonna do. The chunk destroyer is really cool, but it does go through a ton of materials incredibly quick. So what I'm gonna end up doing here is we're gonna need to make ourselves a system just like we have over here, but for the chunk destroyer. So that way we can actually connect everything up and then have it output into our system. So that way I don't have to worry about our system overflowing, especially since we only have 4K items left here. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and make me some more of these oak drawers, the two by twos here. And we're gonna go over here to my system that's in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this up because this is where I'm gonna output it to. Body, what are you doing? Sit. 
Oh, you're going to suffocate right there. Okay, sit right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this configuration tool. And again, I'm going to go ahead and lock all of these. I'm not going to link this just yet, but we are going to need some a couple of more supplies. For this to work, we're going to make some inner chests here. This is relatively easy to make. You're going to need some obsidian, some wool, and four blaze rods. Now, wool, we don't have wool straight out, but we have string and we can make wool pretty easily. And some leather, which is again, pretty easy to make too. Go ahead and make these eyes of ender, which we're going to need some blaze rod. And now we should be able to make. We're going to need at least two for right now. And I'm going to make sure that both of these are set to the same code. Now, if you're on a multiplayer server, make sure you change this because chances are somebody has an ender chest and that code tells you what's inside of the ender chest. It's not a personal chest. It doesn't work like that. This chest is linked to anybody who has this code. So make your code something special. All you have to do to change the code is place it down. And then all you got to do is take something, some kind of coloring. So like, let's say if you have like lapis, you can turn that into blue dye and just shift right click one of these stripes and it will change the code. I'm going to keep these the same because I'm going to need them to be the same. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this probably off to the side right here. Now you can actually come over here, take yourself some ender pearls out and right click this right here and it will upgrade the stores. So shift right click and you see it upgrades it all the way to 27. Pretty cool. And this is the start of how we're gonna connect our system. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna make this look prettier. I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna put this, actually, I'm not gonna do that cause I'm gonna place this right here. And there's a reason why. I want this to export into the system right here. I want this to pull into this storage controller because this storage controller is the one that i'm going to link all of these to and we'll get to what i'm going to do with this later but for right now this works i guess since all of these are locked we can go ahead and link them and i right click to make sure we're using this right click to make sure they're on add and then right click and add nothing should come out of that that bag now but this this should connect it a little bit just to go ahead and set this up we're going to take one of these item pipes we're going to make sure we go shift shift so that way nothing goes into either of these and then I'm gonna shift click here. Now I need to make me a pipe upgrade for this one. Now, honestly, I probably really need this ultimate pipe upgrade, but for now, we're just gonna stick with the advanced one. Hopefully that'll be enough for now. Okay, have you made me enough cactus yet? Oh, I just realized I just did, I took too many. Cool, let's go see if that's enough. It is enough, we just need the glass now. There we go, pump plus. That should make two of them, bam, bam. So now for us to make that chunk destroyer, we actually need eyes of ender, and we're gonna need two nether stars. And now we need to go kill the wither. Hmm. Good thing we have infinite wither skeleton skulls, right? Buddy, you wanna come kill the wither with us? I think you can fight him. Now I'm not going to the, the nether or anywhere to go kill the wither. We're gonna make a place to kill the wither here. So in mob grinding utilities, they actually have something called tinted glass that's tough enough to withstand withers. So you could literally just build your a little like room out of these things and kill the wither in it. So let's take a look. It's pretty easy. Take some coal, some glass. We just got a bunch of that. We'll be able to make several of these. Sweet. All right, buddy, you stay right here. I'm gonna go make us a little place to kill the wither, okay? You know, I really don't wanna mess this place up. So let's go back to our old house. Oh, it looks like it's nighttime. I'm just gonna sleep that out. All right, guys, don't mind me. I'm just gonna set a place where we can kill some withers and stuff. Is that a zombified villager? Was a zombified villager. This place is like got so many things to kill around here. This looks like a great enough place. I gotta get rid of this chicken spawner. It's driving me nuts. All right, we're just gonna make us a basic little place. Using our building gadget, should be able to make a basic little place. So I got this three wide so we can build, maybe we should go seven wide. So I got this one, two, three, four, five wide so we can build a wither right in the middle of it. And into our building gadget, we're just gonna build this out. I'm just going to go ahead and build a little house kind of thing, like just a little place for us to, to you know, get stuck in. Just so you guys know, when you build this, enclose it. Make sure it's completely enclosed because they can't get out of this. I don't know what I would do without this building gadget, man. All right, it's all built. And now if I hit F3A, nothing happens because apparently it doesn't really care what it looks like. But now it's all built. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break us a spot in here. We'll place these there. Hey, buddy, you ready to fight the the wither with me? Surely you won't get messed up, right? Ah, he'll be fine, right? Well, let's just do one to test it, right, buddy? You, you're good at this, right? You're good at killing things, right? Just one for right now, you know? Just, buddy, we're gonna be okay, right? 
Body? Body? Okay, body, get him! Kill him, body, kill him! Fight him, get him! Body, hit him, he's hurt me! Body, kill him! He's almost dead, get him! Body, I'm glad you didn't get hit with that because that hurted. Well, it gave us one other star. You ready to do that again? Round two. Body, uh, I get away from that. You know, we beat him the first time. We should be able to beat him this time, right? Good job. I think actually Body killed him that time. Well, there's two nether stars right there. Easy enough. Cool. Body's a natural born wither killer. And with our two nether stars, we should be able to make the chunk destroyer. This takes a lot of energy, by the way. It takes a decent amount. Not gonna lie. Bam, chunk destroyer. Oh, he drops tertium essence? Hello? That's kind of cool. I always wondered what was in these bundles. Bag of seeds, got onion seeds, we got magic bean- Magic beans? That's actually kind of nice, because we could use that later down the road. And let's see what we got for a reward. What did we get out of here? Curse of bones. Well, that's kind of cool. And let's go set up this chunk destroyer. You know where I want to put this? Of course you know where I want to put this. We're going to put this in the mining world. But it can't come out here. Mm -hmm. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we get this chunk loaded. So left click, shift click. This is called FDB chunks. It gives you a little map. My keybind is M. So you hit M, click, shift click, and it will claim it for yourself and then chunk load it. So the chunk destroyer is pretty cool. You place the sucker down and you can tell it what chunk that you want to destroy things. I don't want this to be right here. So if you right click in here, you can see all this. And if you click, you can actually change where the, the chunk is. It, it mines it. So like if I go like this, you see how it's now going to load this chunk right here. If we do F3 G, you can see that this is the chunk border. So it's now it's going to mine that one. Not load, but but mine. I think it does actually load them, but I'm not sure. And uh, let's go five out that way, right? So now we have five chunks that way. And let's see, this takes us that way. Let's go five out this way. Okay, cool. Now, just so you guys know, don't go sticking no power to this thing right as soon as you're done like it's right as soon as you place it because it'll just go it will go as soon as you start doing it so now i'm just going to place down my ender chest here so that way it pipes into here the chunk destroyer automatically looks for some kind of inventory to it so it's going to go to the right here and then now i can place my power down which is one of these flux points i don't know what's going on with the corner of that flux point thing but that's kind of weird so now we just go and we connect to our network and there we go. The chunk destroyer will start working. And uh, just so you guys know, this sucker is incredibly fast. It speaks for itself. It automatically voids cobblestone. Well, it's supposed to automatically void cobblestone. I guess that changed. It's supposed to automatically void like cobblestone dirt and all that, but it does have its own internal um, like inventory. And it goes from here all the way down and mines all the way to the bottom here, all the way to bedrock, which is really nice. And the way this biome is set up and the way this, the mining world set up in all the mods eight, you basically have the nether, the end and everything together. So we'll get ancient debris out of this. We'll get pretty much a ton of things, get cobbled deep slate and uh, all this stuff going down and it'll even show us where our, all the modium is right here if we wanted to mine somewhere which is cool look at all of that and now we fly all the way up because i forgot about it because this thing has an internal inventory it will store all the stuff that it's mining and it'll continue mining and just store it on the inside until it can get it all out so the next setup or the next step for the setup is to actually get all of this stuff out of here so that way we can put it somewhere where it continuously stays. All right, buddy, you stay right there while I set this up. First step we need to do is make some more of these void upgrades. I don't know how many we can make. I don't know how much obsidian. Oh, we only have enough for four. We need to go get some more obsidian too. But what this does is, like I said before, this makes it where if anything goes in here and it fills up, it will automatically delete it. It will just void anything over the stack limit. So this is important because now that this is connected, I'm going to do this for cobblestone. I'm going to do this for dirt. I'm going to do this for netherrack. Anything that I don't want a ton of like in stone, stuff like that. Just so that way it gets rid of all of it. Just put all this stuff in here. And because it's linked and it's pulling out, it will automatically go into this right here and clear it out of here, which is dope. Problem is it's not fast enough because this right here is slow. So we're going to need to upgrade that some way, somehow. What I can do though, is go ahead and get out the raw copper, raw tin, raw silver, pretty much all of the like raw stuff. And we're going to put that in a separate place. 
so that way it can pump out separately. We don't want those to be voided just yet, not until we upgrade. And it looks like we got some gold nuggets as well. Let's throw that in this one. Blocks of raw nickel. Oh man, I'm gonna put the blocks on the top side. So any of my blocks of ores and stuff, I'll put them up there. Cobble deep slate, I want that to be voided. And it looks like it's just trying to go through all of the netherrack and all of that stuff. So let's go ahead and go make an upgrade to this advanced pipe upgrade and see if we can make a couple of more of these. We're probably gonna need some more netherite. Looks like I got just enough netherite to upgrade this to the highest version, which is the ultimate pipe upgrade. There is one more version, but it's, well, it kind of takes the Alamod star to make, so I kind of can't make that. All right, so let's see if that's fast enough. Should be going in here. We're going to need another. Oh, man. So just so I can explain the system a little bit better, because I feel like I probably am not explaining this enough. Essentially, what I'm doing here or what happens here is that the chunk destroyer mines out the chunks and then it puts everything into this ender chest. Ender chests link to each other, no matter where they're at in between dimensions. So this ender chest is linked to the ender chest in the mining dimension that's beside the chunk destroyer. So this pipe pulls this into the storage controller and the storage controller is linked to these drawers over here. And whatever I put inside of here, it will automatically pull out of our ender chest here and put into here. It also looks inside and says, okay, hey, we can access it via storage. So all of this raw stuff up here, like this raw, let's say the raw nickel blocks, right? That right there. If I come over here and do raw nickel blocks, you should see that we have some in here, which is dope. So the next step to this process would be to go through each of these and pull everything out. So that way we can make sure that we have a spot for each of these. So like this, because it's got a void upgrade, it's going to automatically delete any of this that comes out of it. So if I take one of these out of here, you see how it goes in there. And now if I just click and then shift click to grab all this netherrack out of here, I can right click to put this all up and it will void all of the netherrack. So if there is too much netherrack and you want to get it all out yourself, you can do that. But the problem is, is this one pipe is not enough. It's only doing a stack every tick. And now there's 20 ticks a second, so that's 20 stacks. So you can see how fast this is going. But what if we had more? So what we could do is we could break this right here and we could take and do just like this, connect these together like this, pump this out. I don't know if I can open this now. I don't think I can. I think that's a bad idea. We not, might need to move our experience crystal that only has 938 experience in here. Okay, that's cool. We're going to move this. We'll move that right there. So that we can store it right there. Now we have access to two more ports. So one, two. We're going to go ahead and put one advanced pipe up upgrade in there and one there. So now we should have what effectively is two of these ultimate pipe upgrades in here. And as you see, that is still relatively slow. It'll eventually pull enough of this out and void it all eventually. What we can do is also upgrade these. These actually need to be upgraded relatively soon because they're not going to hold enough. I think it's safe to say we can go ahead and make more than just copper upgrades. I think we can get this up to... Oh, we're going to need to smelt some more gold, I think. All right. While that's smelting, I think we got a decent amount. Let's go ahead and put some upgrades in here. So gold upgrade here, gold upgrade here, gold here, gold here. Uh, we'll do some copper upgrades here. I think it doesn't hurt to go ahead and hit it with two. Look how fast that's filling up. Jesus. Two gold upgrades here, you know, just in each one of these. Because these are kind of important. Look at how fast that's filling up. Good God. Let's go check on it in the mining world. See how it looks out there, you know? Maybe, maybe that's probably a good idea. Oh my God. Did it finish already? It finished already. Look at all this all the modium. So beautiful. Coolest part about this is as soon as it mines some more, we can get some more ancient debris out of it. And then, uh, you know, use that to make some upgrades. But it's already done. It already finished. Look at that. There's some right there. Probably be smart of me to put up these 930 something levels so that way I don't accidentally lose it. Is it still doing end stone? Let's help it out a little bit. Eventually what's going to happen is you're going to run into this. Where you actually finally start getting some ores. Which is what you want. Because then you can come over here and start placing them and they'll get pulled out. 5.5 thousand just like that. What's next? Oh, there we go. Now we get some actual items here. Cool. We're just going to go ahead and fill them all up over here. Platinum? That's a lot of platinum. And finally, we got it down to all of the stuff that's over here. This is all the stuff that we mined from those five chunks by five chunks. And uh, it was a ton. We got a ton. We got a ton of all the different kinds of raw everything. 4.1 thousand, it looks like, of a lot of them, which is insane. We got so many blocks as well. And we got 182 ancient debris out of this. Oh, that's a, uh, so much stuff. That is so much stuff. And uh, yeah, it's 
looks pretty beautiful actually now we don't really have to worry about materials anymore right because it's all it's all in here we didn't get as much uranium as i'd like but that's okay because we got a bunch of stuff and i can use all of this we even got some nether quartz which is dope and we can do it all again so how would you set this up again well break them blaze it down make sure that you choose which chunk you wanted to go into and this time i'm gonna go to the right so i'm gonna go out 10 times this time and 10 times this way you know that can't be bad and then to start it you just put your point down make sure it's connected and uh yeah bypass limit and it should fill this up once it gets the frame done we ready for this one more time absolutely beautiful well buddy i think we did good today we got a refined storage set up we got our chunk destroyer destroying some chunks and uh now we pretty much have all the materials that we're gonna ever need well, almost all of them. There's a few more that we're gonna need. Maybe from the moon. Maybe from Mars. We'll have to see. But I tell you what, buddy, I don't think we have enough power to keep this up. So maybe, maybe on the next episode, we take a look at our power system and maybe upgrade a little bit. What do you think about that? Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you guys so much for the 2,000 subscribers. And until next episode, as always, Bye-bye!